What's up guys, this is Zobot here and this is my new tutorial series on Titanium Studio Accelerator. So basically this is a simple cross, uh, cross language. Basically they have their own simple language and it cross compiles the applications to iPhone and Android that I got right. Let's call this YouTube. So I'm going to be publishing this on YouTube. The app ID has to be com dot something dot something. What it really means it doesn't really make a difference. Just do it. And Bob's your uncle. Sure. We're greeted with this huge bunch of bunch of code. Let's do command A and get rid of all of it. Okay. Now in this video I'm going to be introducing you to the most simple user interface element called a window. So window is like a box. It's a box with nothing in it, in which you can put buttons, text fields, anything that you want. Okay, sure, great. So let's get on with the tutorial. Um, let's create a new window. Power win equals. So there we go. Let me explain this to you. Var stands for variable, and we're creating a variable called win. And this win is basically a window. So we're creating a window. And basically we've now made our box. Now let's add stuff to it. Let's add a button to it. Let's make it interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Now we have created this button called button. Yeah, we've created this variable called button, which is a button. Super. Okay, great. Now let's add some text to this button. So that for text, we put this thing within. Yeah, and it. Oh my god, I'm sorry. And so within these parentheses, we're going to type title, title, there we go, title and in our single inverted or double inverted commas doesn't make a difference. This guy's smart here, he's compiling it, whoever made it. So the title, will, let's say hello world, since this is the most classic example. Okay, so now we have a button that which reads hello world and let's give it some placing on the screen let's say 10 pixels from the top great and 10 pixels from the left i'm sorry there we go okay now basically we have a button and our window let's but the window which is our box is essentially empty so let's chuck in the button into the box which is the window i'm getting a bit confusing <laughs> there we go super let's run it and i'll explain it's due okay so Win dot add button essentially just chuck adds the button to the window. This is like essentially putting the button into the empty box. And win dot open, yeah, you guessed you guessed it right. It opens a window. Oh my god, I'm sorry. That was just another program I was making. A failed tutorial, rather. Hello world! How cool is that? And it's occupying the whole screen, obviously, as you can see. Let's... Now let's give it a few more parameters. Let's give it a, give it a width. Let's give it a width of... Let's say 200 pixels. And a... Height 
of let's say 100 pixels so let's see if it's registered or changes correctly super hello world though we click it nothing's gonna happen it's 10 pixels from the top 10 from the left so let me go over a few things again and explain a few other concepts that you might get be getting confused with so var win equals titanium dot ui dot create window is basically this line what it means is it creates a variable called win now the data which is assigned to the this variable in that we store a window so now win is basically a window each line of titanium studio ends with a semicolon but every line within these parentheses ends with a comma as you can see now var button equals titanium name dot ui dot create window and blah 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 okay so var <laughs> var button basically creates a variable called button and it stores a button in it okay great title title is basically the text of the button top is how many pixels we want it from the top left is how many pixels we want it from the left so 10 and 10 width is the width of the button let me just bring that up for you the width of the button which is 200 pixels the height of the button which is 100 pixels super window add button base essentially adds the button to, to your window and window open opens opens a window and you can see all the elements on the window so great we're done with this tutorial now hope to see you in the next one and hope i helped you with something thanks